Here is another video that is going to walk you through and give you some examples of setting up your website on your hosting service. Again, as an example, we use SiteGround. I really like their services. Um, they have really easy walkthrough options about actually setting up sites. So when you go initially to SiteGround and you secure hosting with them, if you're doing a WordPress site, you would look for WordPress hosting. And the startup plan is a great place for anybody to get started. It allows you one website and a lot of different great features to have hosting for your site on there. So we've already done that here and we're at the home page. So when you do log in again, I know I've said some of this in previous videos, but I know it's helpful for people to kind of walk through and understand some of these tech components you know, over again so that you could really understand how this works. So here we are at our SiteGround account, which is our website host. They're the ones that put that software WordPress onto your site itself. They can also create email for you and you can actually get a domain here. So you'll see in the course we walk through how to get started with a website if you have a domain or if you do not. It's really simple and easy for you to keep all of that in one place and you can do that on SiteGround. So just looking at this through again, when you're at the homepage here, you can see a lot of different options about what exactly you would do to get started. Some, we, of course, we, um, start a new website. That is a very common thing. That's what we're going to do today. You can transfer an existing um, site, WordPress site over to here if you already have one. Um, it shows you how to point to your domain, which means to tell whoever is owns your domain, wherever you've purchased that, either on your Google domains or Namecheap or GoDaddy, to come over here to access your website information and display it online. You can also do different things like transfer domain if you're changing or if you wanted to do something like that. You can change the domain of your site. Some people have done this when they're waiting for things to populate or if you have a business name change. Um, you can also create email, of course, for your domain, something like your name at your website.com, which is really great. So just to walk you through some of the tabs up here, they um, will show you any of the websites that you have. This is an example of a client's account that I'm using. And um, when you see if you have different hosting, if you have more than one site, of course, they would all be listed here and you can go into each and do some whatever work that you have to do for that site. So then when you look at some other services, of course, you can see what you have with them. You can check your billing and referrals and things like that, which is really nice if you wanted to refer people to SiteGround. And then the marketplace is a great uh, section here to make sure that you can get any of the services that they offer. So they do have any web hosting, WordPress hosting, WooCommerce is an e-commerce platform that allows you to have a shop on your site to sell either physical, digital, or affiliate products, which is really nice. And then they also have all these other different features for your site. So if this seems a little bit techy to you and you don't know anything about it, Feel free to ask questions here about the course or just look through some of this information yourself. Um, you'll get more familiar the more you do that. I do want to show you this place here in the marketplace for domain services. So we've talked about if you are getting started with a site and you already have a domain, what you would do is to go to the place where you purchase that domain after you have your hosting and point your name servers, which means again, telling whoever you bought that domain with to Ha show your website online, wherever that might be from your host. You can also get started if you don't have a domain and actually set up hosting first and then come here onto SiteGround and get your domain, which is really nice because then both of your hosting account and your domain account are all in one place. So you just would have one login. You can look here, of course, to search and type in. Often you find domains like this are under $20 a year. It's very nice. Um, and that really is usually an annual fee that you would pay for your domain. You can also transfer a domain. I've done that a couple times if you've purchased it some, from somewhere else, like again, GoDaddy or Namecheap, and you do want to have all of your information in one place, you can do that here as well. It is a very simple process. You put in some of your information. Um, there is a little small fee to that. And then it will have all of your information here on your SiteGround account, which is nice. So just to show you a little bit about how that works, they also have some other um, information and categories and things like that that they offer for things that you can use. So we're going to go back here to the websites category. I'm sorry, the home category, just again to see if you were to have just logged into SiteGround, what you would do to actually set up your site. So we're just going to 
do what it asks us to do. So we're gonna set up our site. You could also find this, of course, under the website category. So we have an existing domain, of course. You can do this if you wanted to start with a new domain right now and purchase one, so look for one. But we already have one here. So if you had more than one, you could you know, collect that, click on that drop down and select which domain you were setting up your site for. Of course, if you had more than one, in your account, but we have a domain. This is our domain for the site. We are going to continue and then we're going to walk through our site setup. So here it is asking us to add a new website, which we are doing. And it's interesting they tell you where your data is hosted in Iowa and the US, um, which, uh, you know, there's some different locations that they have their servers and information on. So we're going to do start a new website. There are other options here. If you had a site on somewhere else and you wanted to walk through that part, you can certainly do that and walk through their steps to get that. Or you could actually just skip and create an empty site. Um, but we're going to start a new website. And what we're going to do is select WordPress to start the site, of course. So again, they do have different options here on SiteGround. This course particularly talks about setting up WordPress sites. And just to talk a little bit about the difference here about what is WordPress only and what is WordPress plus WooCommerce. So WordPress is a just the platform where you host your website. It has a lot of amazing features. WordPress is really considered the gold standard in website platforms. It's been around for a long, long time. And although there's a lot of information on there about other sites that people use like Wix, like Showit, like things like that, the amount of sites on WordPress um, is way more than all of those other platforms combined. They have a lot of amazing integrations. It allows you to do things like have a, an e-commerce site all on there, to have a blog component on the site all together included, <clears throat> which is really great. So WooCommerce here, you can install both of them, both um, WordPress platform and WooCommerce, which installs the WooCommerce setup also on the WordPress site. So you get both WordPress and WooCommerce, which is really nice. So if you're starting something like an online shop or you have affiliate products that you want to share and have a shop set up on your site, you can go ahead and select this middle option. But if you did by some chance, some chance just started only with WordPress, <clears throat> you can install Word WooCommerce later. It is very easy to do. So don't feel like if you chose this one and you felt like you had to add it, you can certainly do that. Or if you by some chance add this middle one, WooCommerce and WordPress, and you don't actually use the WooCommerce store part, not a big deal, it just exists on your site as it is. So for right now, we're gonna select a WordPress site and then we are going to go ahead and enter the email address that you wanna have for your site and the password. This is going to be then your login information for logging into your site. <clears throat> And we know we share what the login URL is for that. So we're going to go to continue and it's going to offer us some different options. Again, you don't have to click on any of these. I don't think they're necessarily required. So you can skip any of that and go ahead and click finish. Right now, then it walks you through creating your site. Um, it just does all the population on the back end. And then we're going to see what that looks like when we go ahead and get started. So when you have a site from the beginning, it is just a blank. Um, empty WordPress site with your domain, of course, associated with it. And it allows you to log in and set up all of those things that we do talk about later in the course in terms of getting the site set up and things like that. So you can go ahead then and install a theme for your site if you wanted. You can use any kind of WordPress platform like Cadence or Genesis or any of those other ones. I really love the Cadence theme. It works great and has a lot of features. <clears throat> and then um, it allows you to add a theme and customize your site from there. So here's something interesting. When you're going through, you're all set here. The site has been created. And then it says, check out our tips to manage your website. What you definitely wanna do is make sure you point your domain. We have instructions here in the course about doing that with different um, services where your domain might be. And so it also actually gives you information here about here if you wanted to work on the site before pointing the domain or, or go right to your site tools. So we will make sure that we copy this information to point our domain so we know where our hosts are going to be. And again, we talk about that a little bit else in the course. So you can just walk through any of the steps that happen here and go right to site tools and get started. So again, it reminds us we want to make sure that we go to our um, where we've purchased our domain 
and customize our DNS, which is our domain name servers, to again, point our website address to this host where our website information is. So we've already installed and managed WordPress. You can go ahead and create an email account for your site if you'd like to. You don't need to go into the file manager or site scanner or any of those things now. But what you can do is just walk through any of these parts here if you wanted to look at them. I do suggest you install a security certificate and if it's not already on your site um, to go ahead and do that and then you can look at some of the different um, information here that they have about the site. The domains that you have, the email accounts that you have, you can create an email here in the email section on SiteGround, which is really nice. You won't necessarily, after your site is created, be in the SiteGround account pretty often, unless you are looking to manage these email accounts and set up forwarding, which you can do. Um, so you can set up an account here that is, say, like, um, you know, jane at janesmith.com, and then they can, you can have that forward to your Gmail account, which is really nice for email management and things like that. So those are some of the background parts of the um, the SiteGround setup and how to get started with that. So again, we are at our main um, SiteGround account. When we go to websites, we're gonna see that our site is listed here. And when we click on web WordPress admin, we can um, then go ahead and look, be able to log into the site. So this one is, um, we still have to point our name servers and get all that set up. So we'll be able to go in and log in and we talk about some of those tools later on in the class. But that gives you a little bit more of information about what SiteGround does, the information that they have in hosting and setting up and using your website.